I love it. Ricky Doyle is a workout. Uh, he just loves to work out. He is in the gym and in the gym and in the gym. So um, he is. He's met, you know, as a young 18-year-old freshman. Now he's a 19-year-old sophomore. He is uh, made great strides. Shooting some jump shots. A little. He's not a three-point guy now, but comfortable with that. Comfortable, you know, a little bit more keeping his game simple in the post. So I uh, love, just love the progress that he's making. What, what about the other bigs? Where, what's that rotation looking like? Oh, well, it's very undetermined right now. Everybody's making great progress. Mark Dinellis has really done well the whole uh, season. He's understanding he's got to play really hard every minute. That's who he's got to be, a Tyler Hansborough type of mindset when he plays. He's not as gifted athletically as some as far as jumping. He can run. He can, he can be a very good passer. But if you never get the ball because you're right not getting rebounds or doing these things, then you can't, you're not going to be able to do those things. Uh, DJ Wilson at, at, at really is at full 6'10 right now. Can play a couple of positions. And uh, right now it's great play, uh, my bad. Great play, my bad. So we have to continue to work it with him to understand less is more and these great plays will come. And then Maurice is a guy you're just going to watch over time, Maurice Wagner. Uh, don't know where he'll play yet. All I know, I'm watching this talent develop, and he's, he's as quick a learner as we've ever had. He's in a Zach Novak type of area where his application to terms, even though he doesn't understand them all the time, is like immediate. So it, that's really been good to see. Don't know if Lincoln play. Might play a lot. Might not play at all. We'll see. How do you measure the quick learning? Just when it's it's a sense that you say something to him, and they do it the next time down. Where there's there's a lot of players that'll come down. You'll say something. They'll come down, and they whether through distraction, they have no idea what you just said to them. It's almost like a, it's someone with great hearing and great application going forward. I can't, you know, like a Zach, and it, it, has, it has nothing to do with your SAT score or anything like that. It has everything to do with your ability to make application of, you know, a task. And some are very quick at it. Some, it might be 100 times. I mean, it might be 200 times. It, it's... And some are just like that. And you don't know that recruiting. Nope. You just got nope. lucky. I don't know if that's the right you word. You don't know that. You try to judge this, but you don't know that. Um, and if you're a read-based offense, sometimes it's harder for people. Read-based defense. And every, every defense is read-based. So that's difficult. He is really, um, he is really uh, uh, elite so far. Pushing on what we were talking about a short while back. Would you think it's fair to say that you are inclined to feel like you don't, you're not doing enough? Like, are you one? Are you one of those people? Who like, I'm a I, I forgot to do something, or I need to do oh, more, yeah. or this and that and the other. No, no. I, I and and I, I've talked with people in, that in leadership positions about this, or advising leadership, that some they, they say some great leaders they they're always trying to plug the holes before they decide what they're going to do. They're always worrying what the enemy is doing so that they can go that. I may be one of those guys that thinks about all the things that could go wrong before you decide what you're going to do. Where others, This is what we're going to do and the others will adjust. I may think the other way and that's okay because you're always you're, 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 you're less likely to make a mistake even though you are not out there uh, you know being brash and we're going to find a way and we'll do yeah we're going to do it but we're going to be educated to find a way I try to educate the team and myself on how we're going to win the game how we're going to be a better team when did you get into that that I idea that idea of self examination or, or you know viewing I, yourself in that way I have no been? idea it's always been there I've always tried to be really organized and you know understanding what is out there before I take official action and not just, hey, that's what we're going to do. There is a time, no, that you get to it and I say, when you got to take the ball out of bounds, you got to go zone or man. And you cannot, now you cannot thoroughly examine. You got to say zone or man and live with it. 
somehow I'm, I try to bring those two together even more. Not overthink. I don't think I overthink. I think I, 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 I uh, over-inspect, maybe. But I don't overthink. I think it's necessary for me to feel good going into a game. I want to know every possible way what we have to do to win that game, which means how do we stop the enemy. Apparently, apparently people tell me that's what some really famous generals in wartime did, is they didn't think about, hey, let's get more troops. They said, what is, what is, what are these bad guys thinking before we decide how many troops? On that whole, like, just on that whole, just making decisions and throwing it out there, you should yeah, complicate some of my goals. Complica- <laughs> I, I complicate things, <laughs> but it makes me happy. That's good. <laughs> that's that's good. good. I'm just transition. learning that. I don't know how to transition into my question. <laughs> um, I guess I'll try. So as far as decision making, uh, your core players, they've all had injuries recently. It seems almost like a bug in a way. They're not related, but there is the injuries. Uh, you have to be aware of it. Are you changing your practices or your approach at all, knowing about injuries? No, not really. The, the, okay. Like I said, uh, the injuries that, that we have had, Right, Spike Albrecht's injury is basically based on DNA that he's inherited through his family. You know, Karras's injury is probably overuse over the summertime, leading the year, leading into the year. Uh, Zach's was a summertime injury. Uh, Derek's never been injured. Like that was one that the injury led to the other injury. And so, I don't think there's big changes there. I think I, I think of all the injuries that we've been able to prevent and knock on wood, we haven't had anything in the knee area, right? Uh, to tendonitis, maybe that's it. Um, we've been really good with, with, if you look over time, but it, I don't think it's, obviously, if I felt it was causing injuries, we'd stop doing it. But I think we're strong, it's just, there's, we've gotten bitten by it. But you think about it, I look at the St. Louis Cardinals, they've been injured all year. You think, well, what, what could they have done differently? You, you're always thinking about it, but and make good decisions um, and I think I look at our practice plans and things like that there's not overuse 